Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It feels like content overload is about to overtake FIFA 23 Ultimate Team because of all of the World Cup leaked content that we have yesterday, today, into tomorrow. It is absolutely nuts what is going to be dropping on this game in the next couple of days. And I want to take a look and break it all down with you because it is almost impossible to try to understand everything that is going to drop in this game and happen to, in all various aspects of content from objectives to SPCs to cards and packs and more in the coming days. So I want to break that all down with you guys today for the leaks that we have and talk about this crazy market that just keeps dropping lower because of all the crazy content that is leaked nobody wants to buy cards right now because all the hype and anticipation is on tomorrow and it's crazy that it's tomorrow it's gonna be one of the biggest days of the year on fifa so i want to take a look at that and today's a pretty big day because the season rewards are being given out today uh your division rivals season rewards so however many games you've played and regular division rivals rewards are being given out as well unless ea changed something last second we've got a lot to discuss with that as well new pack code leaks swaps program like seriously guys it might be a long video so buckle in we have a lot to talk about so if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i want to start with one of the most confused topics of the leaks so far world cup star cards we had a bunch of these leaked yesterday and i want to first start off by saying these cards are not in packs yes you might be a bit confused these are not the Path to Glory cards that are going to be coming in packs tomorrow. These are completely different. All these guys, Fabinho, Danilo Pereira, Kingsley Coman, Eden Hazard, Mason Mount. These are just some of the World Cup star cards that we are going to see. You might be like, Nate, what in the world is a World Cup star? Well, EA actually told us what they are. These cards are going to be permanently upgraded items that are dropped as a part of the World Cup swaps program so basically think of icon swaps but for the world cup where we'll be obtaining these world cup swap player items and we'll be turning them in for packs player picks um and these world cup star cards so that's what these cards are these guys are going to be attainable via a swaps program world cup swaps which drops and starts on friday i don't know how many tokens are going to require or how easy it's going to be to get these cards but again that's one of the other things that shows on the loading screen right now is a World Cup swaps program. Um, and I mean, we expected this to be starting tomorrow with the start of all the World Cup content. You can see it right here, right? This loading screen also shows you on the far left that limited time, those red cards. Those are the only cards that are going to be the disappearing cards, right? Those are the ones that are going to go poof at the end of the World Cup season and disappear. Those cards also drop on the game tomorrow. That's how we will obtain World Cup swap tokens, right? It's the same picture on the loading screen that is displayed here in the pitch notes. I'm going to leave the link to the pitch notes down below in the description so you can see this. Um, but World Cup swaps, that's where these World Cup stars are going to be coming from. Uh, and there's going to be one player from each of the 32 nations, or maybe 31, because we're not sure about Qatar, but that's how those work. Now, slight comment on this. You notice the car design from here to here is a bit different. I think there's an EA mistake that's involved here because if you take a look, it says that a World Cup star card is one of the rewards from swaps like we talked about, but the card design that they have actually added and shown on their website is what they called World Cup team of the tournament. This is the actual World Cup star card. So I think it's an EA error in these graphics. Maybe it'll get updated, maybe it won't. So just between this card right here and this card design, uh, these, these to me are the World Cup stars as they have been leaked and added. It's just a bit confusing on which card design is which one. So just kind of recognize that if you notice the difference there, that's what's going on there. But that's the biggest issue and right now with these World Cup stars is I think a lot of people are confused and thinking that these guys are going to be in packs, which is actually not the case. More and more of these guys are going to be leaked. We're going to have one again, like I said, for all 32 nations, according to EA, that are going to be in the World Cup. So that's the swaps program and that is uh, these World Cup stars. Now, even more about the swaps program, we have a bunch of cards added to the code. Some of the rewards that are inside of the swaps program as well, an 82 times 20, an 84 times 20, a player pick, one of five path to glory, one of four World Cup hero, and a one of three World Cup icon. Yes, you guys might remember that a World Cup icon 
there's going to be new versions of icons that drop at some point in the next basically month and a half during the world cup season there will be upgraded versions of icons in this game so that's going to be probably those are like the biggest packs that have been added right that are probably going to be available via world cup swaps but there are guys i'm not even kidding I i'm pretty sure foot scoreboard tweeted out he said 92 new packs have been added to the code now a lot of these packs that have been added are packs that are added with extra text to contain the FIFA World Cup player items, which are these, the limited time red cards that we will need to get in our clubs uh, to go and do World Cup swaps and stuff like that. I think that's where a lot of this pack code is coming from because if you take a look at all these packs that are added, it says like some of these have a player pick between two World Cup players inside of it or you know multiple different player picks depending on how big the pack is. There's a lot of those red cards that are being added to the pack code, but then there's also some pretty crazy ones in here too, right? An 81 plus untradeable player pick. You've got a big pack there. Um, you've got some essentials packs in here, like based off of the nation. And then if you scroll up even more and look at some of these, you've got a group H essentials pack, five world cup players pack, uh, 80 plus world cup, three players pack and 80 plus times eight and 80 plus times five uh 85 uh, times 3 and 81 times 11 here's your 82 times 20 and your 84 times 20 uh fifa world cup group a slash b uh players pack like guys there's just a ridiculous amount of stuff that is in here an 85 plus player pick that's pretty big and an 83 plus team of the week player pick that's pretty big as well so i'm gonna leave the link to this tweet in the description as well if you want to look through a bunch of these packs but you know not all these packs are probably going to drop in the next like week right these packs will probably be spread out during the world cup promo um but guys like this content again as we were saying it just feels like content overload and it, it's just like so much right a swaps program uh these world cup star cards uh just it, literally everything that's going on in this game it almost seems like too much and we haven't even talked about the cards that are going to be in packs starting tomorrow the, the promo that is at hand and that is what the loading screen currently in fifa shows us is the upgrade path for the path to glory cards so they get a boost at launch and these again these are the packs that are in packs on friday right these guys get a boost at launch and depending on how far they progress the first um upgrade that you can get for these path to glory cards will be qualifying from the group stages you get a plus one in form upgrade you win your next game in the knockouts you get a plus one you win to the quarterfinals you get a plus uh, or sorry you get a five star weak foot upgrade you win to the semifinals you get a five star skill move and if you win the world cup you're going to be five star five star with three upgrades right you get one two and then a plus three at the end and you get new traits added crazy Crazy, crazy, crazy. So a lot of cards are going to get, up, get updated, right? Because, you know, you have a decent amount of cards that are going to advance um, from the group stages. So you get a bunch of upgrades there. And you should get a few more winning in the group, group of 16. And then those nations that end up going all the way towards the end are going to have some nasty cards by the time Path to Glory is over. And again, like I'm saying right now, as we take a look at the leaks, it's crazy because at the moment, we don't have any Path to Glory cards leaked. None of the cards that are going to be in packs tomorrow, as I'm recording this video, and this is probably going to change, but none of these guys have been leaked yet. All the leaks that we have had are for like World Cup star cards and stuff like that. That's a part of like World Cup swaps. So that's part of the craziness that is going on as well. So we've got pack codes, we got loading screens, we got those World Cup star items, and there's even more to talk about with history makers, but I'm gonna stop for a second because it's almost like too much leaks to talk about and too much content. We need to talk about the market. I know a lot of you guys wanna hear about the market as well. It's going down even further because again, think about it. What demand is there going to be for people to go out and buy cards? At least not that much demand, right? When you see all of this insane leaked content and all of this hype is building and everything that you see related to FIFA Ultimate Team content right now just points towards an absolute madness of a day for tomorrow on Friday. Gold cards, informs, out of packs, basically everything continues to drop. Mbappe is the lowest that he has ever been. 1.17 million coins this guy continues to drop in price the market as a whole continues to go down and for the most part a couple of cards are a bit stagnant but again the real premise here and the reason why prices are just dropping everywhere still is because all this insane leaks and in content people not even understanding what in the world is happening this weekend 
and they're just scared to buy. There's no demand for people to buy teams right now in this game. Let it drop. Let it free fall. Honestly, guys, we just let it drop until Friday. Realistically, it's what I think is what we do. And then on Friday, when everything hits and everything happens, you know, it's probably going to be one of those where we just take a step back, see how the market reacts to all the brand new content that drops on Friday. And then we go ahead and pounce and buy some cards uh, and, and see what happens there. Because, you know, as of right now, you know, I do think the market's going to still end up doing very well on Friday night. I think there's going to be a lot of people that open packs and a lot of cards are going to end up rebounding in price and rebounding in value. But until we get there and until that switch flips and even on Friday, you know, with some probably crazy panic still to come uh, as people see what's going to happen when on the actual Friday of the World Cup, when everything drops, even for the hour or so after the content drop, you know, I'd be very, very careful with buying cards for your team. The only thing I'd be doing is trying to quick flip. I bought Parasit yesterday at 86K, sold them at like 96, 97. He's back down to 90,000 coins. Quick flips is the name of the game if you're trying to make any coins on this game right now. Icons, rare cards have been the best, right? I've made some good icon flips. Um, I'm still losing a couple coins as well, right? I bought Erling Holland's Inform for like 425,000 coins. Tried him out for a few games. He's an absolute beast, but I'm pretty sure his card price only went up like 20K, right? And he didn't go up enough for me to really make that many coins. So right now I'm slightly mudded on this card because I was hoping that he would go all the way back to about 470. And he didn't, right? He's still pretty rare. But again, like I said, there's just not that much demand for people to buy cards in the market. So cards keep going lower. And I think they're going to keep going lower until we get to Friday. And some cards are going to keep going lower after Friday as well. Because, again, I really think that some of these guys that are going to be having the Red World Cup limited versions that are on the game... Uh, I think there's going to be a, a lot of people that would rather use that red World Cup card on their team than a gold card. So I'm a bit skeptical on the gold market still, but we'll see what happens on Friday. Um, and again, if you're trying to trade, just be careful, right? I want to talk about SBC fodder as well because fodder did not have any more demand yesterday. Yes, of course, we have the hero upgrade pack that is still out that people maybe haven't done. But fodder is continuing to drop off in price uh, by the day now. After Tuesday, right? Tuesday, we saw the spike and saw prices get pretty high. And now stuff is starting to kind of come back down because, uh, you know, your demand is lessening. People have done the hero pack. There was no icon pack yesterday. And everybody that had invested in fodder and the slight bit of supply that is coming in is starting to hit to the market and prices are dropping because people are, one, they're worried about the supply that's coming this weekend, right? Everybody that has saved up packs, which I would imagine that 95% of people right now inside of Ultimate Team are not opening packs because people know that they just they don't like to open packs when there's not promo cards that are out and available to pack. So right now, everybody's saving their packs, and that means a lot of supply is going to hit the market on Friday when people start to open their packs, which we'll talk more about those movements in tomorrow's video, how that could impact the market there. But especially with fodder, people are worried about the supply. So I think that if we don't get any, um, if we, we have to get a massive SBC, like an icon upgrade or something really crazy today to make this fodder move, in my opinion, because people are going to be scared about the supply on the weekend. And we do get another set of marquee matchups today, which some people might open those packs. And this kind of stuff could drop even a little bit lower. So I'd be very careful with fodder. But I would say that I like fodder on the weekend. I think fodder could be a good pickup during the weekend time frame. So we will talk about that when the time comes. But again, guys, the market just right now is continually in shambles. And prices just continue to drop lower. You guys have maybe seen this on EA's Twitter yesterday. FIFA World Cup history makers. This is crazy. We never have thought that this was going to be sort of a thing that's caught us by surprise. And this picture looks kind of crazy, right? You see Zidane and Mbappe and Beckham and Jude Bellingham with different card designs than we had ever seen before. I'm going to take you through what these cards are because EA has given us some insight on what these are. Just a little bit of a pro tip. This seems this much of hype. It's kind of like those pink next generation cards that we had last year. That's what it feels like, but still a bit different. And these cards upgrade. Yes, they upgrade, but not for a long time. So the World Cup history makers are basically a combination by nation of a current player 
and a former player that either has an icon card or a hero card. So you see Diego Forlan and Fede Valverde, but you also have Luis Figo and Joao Felix. So basically what we're going to do is if you play FIFA between basically yesterday, November 9th and January 3rd, if you get onto the console version uh, of the game, not the web app, the web app does not count. But if you log into the game, you will be getting two of these packs that will give you a lone hero or icon. And then you will get the history maker uh, card item at the same time. So whatever nation your hero or icon is, then you'll get the other players associated with that hero or icon, right? So here's some of the guys for Lon, Fede, um, Robin Van Persie, Virgil Van Dyke. You guys can see this list on here. I like this picture because this picture kind of shows it the best. It's not all of the players, but it kind of shows you the hero or the icon in the background. And then like the current player you know, in the forefront of the picture. So there's definitely some L's in here uh, and there's some W's. What this really reminds me of is it reminds me of those next generation cards that we had last year in FIFA 22 that they gave out to the ambassadors, right? Um, but this seems to be a bit more of a W because these World Cup history makers actually upgrade. As you can see, um, it says down in here that the FIFA World Cup history maker players will receive one upgrade on January 13th and a second upgrade on February 14th. So that makes you wonder if they're gonna give us an Mbappe, right? Is the Mbappe they're gonna give us the actual gold card and then this gold 91 is gonna turn into a 93 if you're lucky enough to pack him from that pack? So that's kind of hype, right? Or are they gonna do it like last year where they gave us a lower rated version of the card? Remember this like next gen Mbappe right here? Gold was 91. This one was an 86. If it's that sort of thing, then that's an L. But still, the opportunity to pack an Mbappe, the opportunity to pack some of these other cards that will eventually upgrade with these World Cup History Makers card design is definitely pretty interesting. The timing on this is the only thing that doesn't make sense to me because if you look at it, these are not given out until December 23rd, right? That's the other thing with this. December 23rd is the first time we'll be able to get these cards through this pack in the game. And by that time, the World Cup's kind of over. And the whole point of this is like, you know, trying to say, okay, these players may have an impact on their nation's World Cup chances uh, like these former heroes and icons did. But again, it's kind of like at the end of the World Cup. So that's a little bit confusing, but there's a lot of hype around those uh, in, inside of the game yesterday on Wednesday with that leak being posted. So that's kind of like everything that is going on content-wise in this game. Again, guys, it is crazy it is nuts and if you feel like you're lost you're not alone because that's how almost everybody feels right now on this game with all of the content overload that is going to be coming i haven't even talked about foot world cup heroes right you know there's so much content coming we have three different loading screens right now detailing what's to come right we have the path to glory loading screen we've got the swaps loading screen and the World Cup Heroes Team 1, by the way, not all the World Cup Heroes are going to be in packs on Friday, is crazy, right? So we're going to talk more about the Heroes and stuff tomorrow. But I really wanted in today's video to talk about the World Cup swaps, talk about all of that, um, and just kind of break that down. Because I know it's very confusing to think about, okay, Nate, what cards are going to be in packs? What cards are not going to be in packs? And what is happening on Friday? I want to see if there's any card designs here. There's not in the store showing just yet. But with all that confusion as well, that's another reason why we're trying to stay a bit away from the market and just do quick flip trading if possible because you know a lot of people are just seeing that continual content being released and they're like, man, I wanna stay away from it. So today on Thursday, the other thing that we have going on are the milestone rewards that are gonna be given out. I'm just trying to sell this Kaka for like 3K profit. List the others for lazies at the moment, just trying to get a couple coins made if possible watch out for the the season milestones and rewards today a lot of people i think will still be saving these so again i don't think it's going to impact the market that much today i'm not expecting that much of a market rise and if there is one i don't think it'll last long because again the premise here and the bottom line is there's not a lot of demand so i'm being very very careful with the cards that i am buying also, a couple things from an EA standpoint and a content standpoint for today on Thursday. Is it going to be an L day? Maybe. But this is their last dynamic duo that I think we should be seeing. As EA said in the game, there's going to be five different dynamic duos. This would be the last one. It's kind of cool because they're from the same nation and from the same club. 
Club Bruges and both Canadian Lauren and Buchanan. I believe the Buchanan card is lengthy as well. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but watch out for this dynamic duo today. Other than that, it might be a bit of a slow Thursday for content, just building the hype again for tomorrow on Friday. Now, last thing I want to talk about is too, there's been some glitches with packs recently. EA tweeted that champions, foot champions reward packs were appearing incorrectly. It was a visual glitch only. Now, also, they have not tweeted about this, but I've seen some of you guys in the YouTube comments, and I've heard other people talking about this on Twitter. Ultimate packs have been mistakenly changed to like rare mixed players packs. So check your store uh, for a, if you had an ultimate pack from a reward or from something like that, um, as of right now, it might be showing as a rare mixed players pack. So EA need to fix that because if they automatically change the pack that you're supposed to get, that's some false advertising stuff and that is not good. So I think that'll be an issue that will probably get fixed pretty fast. It probably got messed up in some of the code update that they did um, just this last night. So that's probably the issue there. But it's going to be a very interesting day on Thursday regardless today because, again, we got so much going on and so much that is pending with tomorrow on Friday. You know, the hype for that and the buildup of that and still the market crashing and with milestone rewards today, it's just crazy right now in this game. So... I know it's a lot to break down. There's a bunch of links down below in the description. Make sure you check those links out to read a bit further. But really, the bottom line is, tomorrow is going to be the most hype day. Besides the release day on FIFA, tomorrow is the most hype day of FIFA Ultimate Team of the year. There is so much that is going to be going on. So we're going to continue to break it down live on Twitch today. Make sure you check the link down below in the description. Check us out there. Come through and have some fun in the chat on the stream around content time. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.